Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I keep almost saying Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Welcome to video games. Where am I going and what am I doing? I wanted to go down. So there was a down. Oh, but there's... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I wonder what they were doing here. Well, Be jerks. Far zenith, yeah. Probably discovering amazing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For their own benefit. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That sounds about right. Of course there was like, there had to be like an evil corporation. I think in reality the world would have just torn itself apart. Or I don't think the, the US military or whatever wouldn't have gotten behind it. Or you would have had... I just realized that like, and this is how, like, you know, you're just, you're just used to being, like, ethnocentric, I guess. Like, you grow up, especially in, like, a first world power, like, you know, like China or the United States or whatever. Um, and I just realized that I never really thought about how, like, they're, like, Project Zero Dawn. And that was all, like, the, a U.S. military initiative. Like, did they get anybody else involved? Like, across the globe? Did, did only, like... Americans try to like, you know what I mean? Like try to do this pushback called Zero Dawn where the civilians thought they were gonna like, you know, help save the day by throwing their lives into the crushing maw, you know? Um, and then in the end, cause like also like, that's like the US general like making the decision for the entire population. Not just, like, not just making it for America. But maybe the Chinese government had no idea. Maybe they all each had their own initiatives, to be fair. That's a whole other thing I didn't even think of. Like, Far Zenith's also an American-based thing. So, like, you know, they're like, we gotta save the few people who wanna be saved and are wealthy enough, you know? Um, but freaking, what was China doing? You know, what was England doing? You know? Like, what was anybody else doing? <laughs> like... Did they have their own initiatives and funding and, like, military stuff? Or were they just, like, collapsing from the inside? I'm sure some did. Um. But, shoot. I mean, I feel like at least China would have done something, too. Like, gone out into space like Far Zenith tried. You know, unless there's just something in the lore I'm forgetting. Russia, I feel like, would have. I feel like the European Union, England, I guess this, the first game was made when the European Union and England were still together, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just having a moment here. Recognizing my ethnocentricity. <laughs> like, I didn't even think about, I just was like, ah, oh, yes, this is how it's going to be everywhere. Like, obviously the whole world got in on this plan. And, and did the things that they needed to do, that they needed to do to try to, like, you know, slow down the onslaught. But that was just America. And maybe Canada. Maybe Canada got along, too. I don't know, you know? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm, wow. I hadn't, I'm sure somebody else has definitely already considered this. But I am a slow bean. And just doing my very little best. With my tiny little brain that gets so very easily distracted. Oh, it's from Song Zhao to the research staff. As you will undoubtedly have heard, we have lost the brightest star among us. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter. And on behalf of the new High Council, what? I commend you all for your efforts and the great strides made over the last several years. Yet as we mourn our founder, we must also keep our gaze on the bright future ahead. At that end, we will be shifting project priorities. Over the coming days, you'll be briefed on exciting developments in longevity research from our Tokyo and Lagos facilities with new assignments to follow. In the meantime, all exogenic chambers should be moved to storage. So they stop the ectogenic chamber research and moved into longevity research. So these people are, like, especially, like, I was thinking maybe they were, like, the children who were, like, fully appraised of the situation on Earth. Maybe the children of those who went into space. But they could potentially actually be those people. 
that was another option, obviously. But, like, now it seems like even more of an option that those people are the people who, like, went out. There is, like, maybe cryogenic freezing? Uh, or some sort of, like, longevity potion philosopher's stone type thing. But I also am highly suspicious of this, this death of the leader. Especially because right after the death of the leader, they do a shift in project priorities. Uh, I feel like the leader guy uh, was overruled by this new hike. You know what I mean? There's like a whole like almost like governmental shift as well. There was definitely a coup behind the scenes. You know? They're like, thanks for your bright vision and all, but like time for you to move on. Which often happens to like leaders like this. At least, you know, in games. I'm sure it happens in real life too. Um, I mean, didn't, I think kind of Steve Jobs, maybe, I just, I don't know anything really about him, just vaguely, so. Fascinating. Also, a high, if you work for a corporation that has something called a high council, they are in the Illuminati. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And also, like, who, who names, you're a corporation, who names the, like, they're like, like CEO group, the ruling council. If they do, that's a huge red flag. And that's like a shift from like corporate policy into like governmental oligarchy. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, I've seen them hanging on the wall, these suits, but these ones are all piled up. find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Uh, mm, uh, has seen a significant improvement decreasing the time between touch-ups that commercially available treatments like Osmanthius's rejuvagene require. As for Malik's team, the latest results from a neurophysiology experiment seem promising with the supplementary data provided by our Tokyo facility. We seem to be closing in on functional first-generation implants. Meanwhile, our friends in Zurich have sent over their findings on WBE mixed results. A couple of promising avenues, but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is a horror movie now. No freaking way to try to... I've just been playing Mass Effect 2, and I just played the Overlord DLC in Mass Effect 2, which you've played it, you know what I'm talking about, where there's, like, the attempt to mix organic and non-organic, synthetic and non-synthetic, human and robot, essentially, but, like, human and VI, like, virtual, like, integration programs. You know, like, the digital and the human. And... It's straight out of a horror novel for me, or like a horror, anything horror, <laughs> you know? Because it's like, you're just trying to combine those two things, while in theory could be really cool, and then there's like, there's like a whole other like, subgenre of like, sci-fi, of like, being able to upload your memories to, oh my gosh, what is it? There's like, what is, there's like a big one, I swear I played a game with this. Oh my gosh, where you can, like, upload your memories, like, your personality, essentially, into, like, a core, and then put it in, in, like, a new body or a robot body. Oh my gosh, what was it? Oh. Also, there's a really good manga called Tokyo Crazy Paradise, where, it, towards the end, it kind of starts to have something like that. At least it, um... Just make sure, um, I mean, the plot gets a little wild, but, like, <laughs> it's an interesting idea. And it's, it's that, it's that idea of, like, um, digital transcendence, the uh, digital immortality. Um, there was, what, was it, like, a movie or something, maybe, too, where, like, you could upload yourself to a server and live in there? I'm sorry, I'm all turned around. And I'm thinking of these things and like the server ends up being what was these stairs over here like the server ends up being corrupted what was it there's like a couple i can barely think of oh can i yes 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 fascinating this place is huge 
Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Well, we don't know if they even got in here or if so, she was on her um, way out. How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. He just wants to help. He doesn't need to understand everything to, you know, help. This place feels strangely empty. Like, I keep looking for loot. And, like, there is some, but it's still... I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> is that, like, a weird active screen? But I think it was just a glitch in the Matrix. A control console. Yeah. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Asset That's this, fine. asset that. Oh, see, here I am. Actually, here I am thinking that freaking that hole was made from something tunneling in, but for all I know, it was from something tunneling out. Maybe something was in here. And Eleuthia put herself in it, maybe, and like burrowed out. Ooh, freaky. That's an idea. Spooky red glow. Never good, never good. I am also wondering if some of this damage is just like age. It probably is. Or if like the facility was attacked. <laughs> but it doesn't really seem like it was attacked. It just seemed like it's just broken. Faded after however was it like two thousand years or something? Probably not two thousand years. Well, yeah, no. Given the time it took to, I think maybe I'm totally enter. Oh, was it two three seven? Two hundred and thirty six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Oh my gosh. Two hundred and thirty six. Yeah. Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Oh, I, I, I did. I, I kind of skipped through it when I... Um, was, like, having to go through that cutscene again because it had hit, hit an autosave right before it. Oh, boy. Let's see. No, okay, it's not what I want. Not side quests, not world... Salvage. I missed two, three in the museum. That's a, that's not cool. I gotta go back and find them. Oh my gosh, I might just look it up. Stress signal. Yeah, it was 237, but she said... Okay, yeah, I was like, but there's only 236 in here. 236 containers in storage. Yeah, well... Please enter the container I'm gonna find the like secret. To the secret one, apparently. That I need to beware of. Why would you make your storage facility red? my gosh, those are people. There are people in those. Oh. Oh my gosh, another Aloy? How many Aloys are there? Aloy. Oh my gosh. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. 
But why? Don't put it on. Hello, hello, Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. Oh, is it the same I'm one? Sure I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have a Luthia, Artemis, and Apollo. Ah! But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. How did she get in here? On her own? You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. You can't just pull out a somebody out of cryogenic stasis. I'll protect her. And and expect her to be okay, right? Oh my gosh, now I gotta fight the giant. You should prepare before the Spectre gets here. The prepare with I can't what? Really get through to Varl on the clone. Oh my gosh. Okay, also, I'm... Okay, so I was like, at first I was like, oh my gosh, there's multiple ones. Because there's no way they would let Beta get away from them. They need her for things. Unless they put her here on purpose to, like, keep her, like, contained. But, like... Obviously, she got away from them, is what she said. That she, she somehow got away from them, and I thought she'd be, like, brainwashed by them. Um, and, like, kind of do... Like, she, I, I, didn't, I didn't think she'd have, like, an awareness of anything outside of what they told her. But, obviously, she freaking... And she knows who Elizabeth is. And, like, whoa. Well, I guess she would kind of have to, to complete her clone duties, because she has to say the name. But, like... Prepare for battle, but... Uh, um, I don't even, I don't know how to fight a specter. Like, I, I don't know what to prep for it. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I should have done this beforehand. When I had my stash available to me. Oh boy. Here it comes! Yeah, well. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, how do I even, how do I even know? Oh, I guess the Spectres did fight me with that, but with the guy, I think before? No, they, well, they were with it. They didn't fight me, but they did, they were there. Um, when they broke in and when I saw Beta for the first time, notebook. I guess I just, I guess I just didn't scan them then. I didn't, well, I didn't have a chance. It was a cutscene. Uh, weak versus acid and plasma. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful though when it's like Oh my gosh, I thought it was more like squid like, but it's more like leopard like. That's beautiful. Holy cow. Gravitationally reattached when torn off, so don't tear. Okay, ain't got thing. There are things that are detachable. But it might bring them maybe it's just the armor will come back and not like the pieces that I detach control nexus nanoplate plasma unit vector thruster it can fly mm, yeah, that's what he said Ex regeneration unit excellent oh knock that sucker off okay I am going to attempt Several things I could attempt. Did you see me? I should scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. Yeah, we already did that, but what I wanna do Let's see. Is try 
try to lay traps for it. I don't think I have... I don't have enough points. Awesome. No, that's super cool. I'm super stoked about that. Okay, that worked. Used all elemental states. That's cool. I did what? Um. <sighs> that thing's quick. you're doing, but I don't like it. That wasn't too bad. Oh my there. gosh! See, free freaking all these okay, traps. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast this is, is clear. This is why I like traps. And it did exactly what I wanted. It just came a little sooner than I expected. But like, I was basically finished laying all my stuff, so it worked out. What is that? is that Oh right, I have to go fight um the other one, which is probably not going to be as amenable to being blown up from stealth. Got to get back up top and deal with that other specter. Hey, right, look at this. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. You know, Aaron, he loves staying in cover. Is this, like, a new... No? Safe spot? If they use him as a hostage for the first time he comes out with me, I'll be very upset, like, if they take him. Aloy! Ah. Uh-huh. Aaron! Yeah. Got the Spectre sucking seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry! Aaron dies the first time he comes out. Man, I will, I will oh, quit. Doesn't sound good. I will quit I this game. I will quit this game. Aaron, I'm here. Watch out! That thing shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. I the have. Second you need me, I'm there. Okay. What is that swarm thing? There's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. Hang on. Oh, I'm trying to. It's got some courage. I need to sneak around behind it. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing head on. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Heavy weapon. I knew. I could use it against the Spectre. I knew we had. Shield down. It's on the move. Come on. Oh, I wasn't wearing the silent strike armor. Hang on. Oh, I'm. What? Okay. Dang it, I wasn't wearing the silent strike armor. I'm wearing the one that I was like, oh, this would be nice for cold weather. I will take the heavy weapon armor. Come over here. Come come over here. No, no, no. No, don't just stand there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk through those, please. Don't jump. Just walk. Come on. There we go. Oh, I love traps. So much. <laughs> I, just, I just obliterated that thing. Oh, Aaron, me and my clone. Beta. We're gonna get. We should, we should hey, look, give her a better name. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story. But it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? Oh, jeez. Aaron, poor Aaron, you just doing his best. Ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Aaron's like, yeah, okay. I don't even know if he wants an explanation half the time. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenith won't be so can invincible I, after can, all. Can I? What is that? Like nano bot snow is gonna pile up. I wonder how much snow's gonna pile up. I didn't even need that. I was gonna I was gonna use the the like my initial plan was to use the acid, weaken its armor and use the Ravager cannon, but the advanced a uh, acid traps were just chef's kiss. Beautiful. Oh no they require so much. <laughs> Did I just I thought I only used regular ones last time, but I maybe I don't know. Because the other one took three traps. Like three acid traps plus a bunch of explosions. That one just took two acid traps. Uh, weapon. We were looking at the weapon really quick. Yeah, yeah, we got time, we got time, we got time. I, so she obviously has some of the same, like, beta. Has some of the same gumption and wherewithal and, like, um, adaptability, I guess, that... Aloy has. I thought she would be very like meek and submissive and stuff, but she obviously has a mind. I don't know. I'm just pleased, right? I'm just pleased that she like uh, seems to like be subversive to the will of her keepers. You know, she obviously has a mind of her own, and it's just it's just good to know. Ooh, am I gonna put that on my spear? No. Oh well, that does happen. But Damn the it. orb. It's always orbs! I said this in Mass Effect as well. It's always orbs. Well, it's better than nothing. We must contemplate the orbs. She should have scanned it. Like, she should have scanned the whole thing before touching it with her thingamajig. Which she probably did, technically. You could probably... Probably Gaia was watching. She probably has, like, a recording buffer. Um, so she could... She could probably look at the whole scan of, like, an image. Like, a still image of it. Like, the whole thing when it was intact. That was a very brief mission with friends. But it is nice to have friends around so they can carry people for me. So I don't have to do it. <laughs> How convenient. It's like when you're trying to move and you gotta contact all your man friends. You're like, hey. And they're like, no, please. And you're like, it's your contractual societal obligation to help me move. <laughs> fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can I'm replicate it. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenith. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> Check on the clone, too. Yeah, she refuses Burl. to call her... Where's our guest? ...by her name. We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder, too, if she actually just doesn't like the name Beta, if she thinks it's not, like, a name name, and she's kind of waiting till Beta gives her her own name. But this is going to be super weird. I did not... I thought this was going to be, like, an endgame thing, but here we are... Also, she has Eleuthia and Artemis. Oh my gosh. 
or like not she, but they have Eleuthia and, and Apollo. I mean, we knew they had Apollo. We knew Farzina had a copy of Apollo. Um, so that was already a known factor. But they took Eleuthia. Heck. But somehow, Beta got into that facility too? Maybe she's the one who actually sent the signal, faking as Eleuthia, to try to lure me there, knowing it might lure Z Far Zenith there, too. And she, I'm, like, speculating when all I have to do is go talk to her. But, anyway, I will call this one here. That seems like a pretty good spot to cut it off. So, thank you all so much for joining me. I This is really cool. I did not think we would have Beta here so soon, so that's cool. I hope it's cool anyway. I hope she's not, like, infiltrating. That was another thought that popped into my head, is that she's been sent here to infiltrate us, um, which we should definitely destroy her focus, which look, looks like a little spyware spider. Oh, I hope this is all in good faith, because I don't know how she would escape on her own, but anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support, and an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Christopher, thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest, and I appreciate it a ton. Adam, thank you as well for your support. You've been super great this whole time, and it's just nice. It's just super nice. Thank you. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.